Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today. We'll be discussing sustainable building materials, what they are, their importance, some criticisms, and how they impact the global environment. Now, what exactly is a sustainable building? Well, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, a sustainable building is a structure that is environmentally responsible and resource efficient. It is designed to reduce the impact on human health as well as the natural environment. Overall, the, the takeaway from here is to know that a sustainable building is not necessarily a short-term solution to environmental change. However, a building is something that should last for an extended period of time while remaining self-sustaining as well as environmentally and cost efficient. Now, what exactly is the purpose of sustainable building? Well, as I've noted before, uh, the main purpose is to use natural resources more efficiently, like water and energy, to then protect the occupant and or human health in that building, as well as to reduce waste and pollution. Now, what exactly are green building materials? Well, according to the Canadian government, the green building materials are building materials that are made of renewable resources. Um, they are materials that enhance the structural health of buildings by impacting the life cycle, or in other words, elongating the life cycle of the building. They are also materials that are environmentally as well as cost efficient, which is very important to note about green building materials. Now, there are a few different materials and mediums that go into constructing green building materials. Those are engineered woods, which lead to a reduced amount of waste being produced, reclaimed and reused materials, as well as recyclable materials. Well, how exactly do green building materials work? Well, first and foremost, we have to understand that building sustainably and using green building materials can also promote sustainable building within our daily lives. We also realize that not all green materials used in a sustainable building can be recognized. And this also goes into the argument of long-term versus short-term effects of a green building. The short-term effects aren't really seen. However, the long-term effects of that building will be cost-efficient, environmentally efficient, natural resource efficient, as well as improving human health. Now, what exactly are the benefits to green materials? As we seen that the main theme is resource efficiency, improved indoor air quality, energy efficiency, water conservation, as well as affordability over the lifespan of the building in terms of cost. So how do green building materials address global change? Well first and foremost, as I've stated before, the focus nowadays is to promote sustainability within our daily routines. However, there seems to be a lack of promotion within the construction realm of, for using sustainability. As you know, it takes a lot of energy to build, to construct a building um, in terms of production as well as transportation of materials. So if we begin to use natural materials in our environment sustainably and efficiently, and we also use green materials that are constructed with less energy, we will see that less energy will go into, into constructing a building, as well as seeing that that building that is constructed with those natural resources at an efficient rate will also produce less energy, less weight, and be more environmental as well as human health-wise friendly in the long run. So what's required? Money obviously is a major necessity in establishing and developing green building. We need to implement a strict policy to follow in order to enforce the goals of green building and ultimately the long-term goals to lower global energy consumption that harms our planet. So what does science say about all of this? Today, unfortunately, buildings and the process of constructing housing and facilities account for about 35% of the CO2 emissions in our atmosphere. Therefore, sustainable building materials will be highly beneficial to the carbon dioxide levels of pollution in our air quality and our environment as a whole. So here are a few current uses and applications of green building materials that are seen today and that are still being studied. The next following slides will be a few pictures and illustrations of these current um, uses. 
Well, first we have tire logs, and tire logs are generally made out of old tires that have just been tossed, and the tires are broken down and then reconstructed back together and used for different practices such as erosion control, coastal control, um, developing households, um, insulation, as well as construction. We also have the green roof technology, which essentially you have plants planted on a roof that then take the solar energy converted into energy that we use in our buildings. Next we have autoclave aerated concrete, which is made of 80% air as seen by the air bubbles as well as um, recyclable materials for the rest of the percentage. The light characteristic of this concrete is good for insulation as well as sound control. Next, we have solar panels, which a lot of you may already know. Solar panels are used to convert, convert the energy from the sun into energy that can be used for buildings, similar to green roof technology. And there are also solar tiles, which function the same way as solar panels, just in tile form. We also have rain gardens, also known as stormwater gardens, which essentially filter the stormwater that are taken off from the street to then produce clean water. Of course, criticism regarding green building is inevitable. Obviously, such a developmental project will be a bit costly. Many will also argue that there are possibilities that green building will also have negative environmental effects. However, the environmental benefits certainly outweigh the minor effects. So who's doing what now? There's something called the LEED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It's a program that verifies and provides certification that buildings meet the standards to be called green buildings. A lot of cities are taking the idea of green building in stride and remodeling and rebuilding really prominent buildings to meet the certifications. And not only are cities becoming more green, but consumers and everyday people are taking it upon themselves to transform their homes and therefore their lifestyles. In addition to not only the structural integrity of the buildings, these green buildings are being filled with energy efficient appliances and utilizing some more green sources of energy. When you think about wasting energy, you, don't, you think about turning off the lights or turning off your computer. You don't think about why. Maybe if the building used more efficient sources of energy, it wouldn't be such a problem. This chart shows how much energy buildings cost, not just in their everyday use, but in the construction and sourcing of materials. If you can see, the levels of CO2, water usage, and energy use as a total are huge percentages and chunks out of the total of for the U.S. So what's next? First off, education and awareness is extremely important. If businesses and people knew about green building and their principle for long-lasting, long-term energy efficiency, more people would be likely to follow. People should know about the benefits of using sustainable materials, not only for benefiting themselves, but for the U.S.'s energy use and also the sake of the earth. Next up is accessibility of materials. Green materials need to be readily available to make green building part of the U.S.'s norm and part of our future culture. So to wrap it up, sustainable materials should be made more prominent and featured in society as an alternative to materials that suck up energy may be good for the short term, but are by no means long-term solutions. This will only happen through education of the public about how green buildings are not an instant solution to the Earth's problems, but are a long-term solution that will see slow but sure benefits for the Earth.